want to balance a redox reaction. Balancing a redox reaction requires a prior knowledge of oxidation number. Students should know how to find out oxidation number. If a student is able to identify or write calculate an oxidation number, balancing a redox reaction will become easy. The first task in balancing a redox reaction, if you really want to balance all the inorganic chemistry reactions, redox reactions, first task is to identify a type. Identifying a type gives us a correct approach for balancing a reaction. Now, if you check the first reaction, then oxidation number of phosphorus is 0, nitrogen is plus 5, hydrogen is plus 1, oxygen is minus 2. On this side, hydrogen is plus 1, phosphorus is plus 5, oxygen is minus 2, nitrogen in this case is plus 4, oxygen is minus 2, hydrogen plus 1, oxygen is minus 2. Now, as an observer, what you are able to get? That oxidation number of phosphorus is undergoing a change. So, phosphorus as an element will be very critical in balance, right, in balancing a redox reaction. And we are able to identify nitrogen also is undergoing oxidation state. So, phosphorus and nitrogen will be responsible for balancing a redox reaction. Now, this is one of the easiest type and we will call this as type A. Now, if you see second reaction, then Fe has already oxidation state of plus 2 because it is an ion and Fe is plus 3 that means it is undergoing a change. So, Fe is undergoing oxidation state change. If you check sulfur, in this case sulfur is plus 7, in this case sulfur is plus 6, even sulfur is undergoing a change. So, sulfur will be important, sulfur is undergoing a change here, ion is changing here. This for us is a simple type of a redox reaction and for our convenience we will call it as type A. Even third reaction if you check carbon right you have to know all the oxidation state usually right when you have uh, practiced lot of oxidation number related questions then you can easily identify which are those elements of oxidation generally change. Carbon is plus 3, oxygen is minus 2, manganese is plus 7, oxygen is minus 2, hydrogen is plus 1, manganese is plus 2 because it is an ion, hydrogen is plus 1, oxygen is minus 2, carbon is plus 4, oxygen is minus 2. Identify those elements whose oxidation number is changing. Carbon is going from plus 3 to plus 4. So, carbon will be critical for balancing a redox reaction. Manganese is going from plus 7 to plus 2. It will be also critical and manganese is going to one oxidation state, carbon is going to another oxidation state. For us, this is a simple type, we call it as type A. Now, we like to understand other types. If you check copper, it is 0. Copper is going to plus 2, it is undergoing oxidation. Nitrogen is plus 5. And nitrogen goes to plus 2. But if you observe, nitrogen is still plus 5 here because nitric acid, which is made up of nitrate ion, same nitrate ion is present there. Right till nitrogen is part of a nitrate ion, oxidation state will remain same. In this case, what you are able to realize, right, nitrogen exists in two different forms as a product. In one place, oxidation number is same, in the other place, oxidation number is changed. Such type, we will call it as type B. They are not simple one. Copper is going to only one compound, but nitrogen has two different oxidation state in the products. Imagine this one, chlorine is 0 and chlorine is minus 1, changing to one oxidation state. Nitrogen is minus 3. Here also nitrogen is minus 3. Nitrogen, whether it is an ammonia or it is an ammonium ion, it is minus 3 and nitrogen is 0. So, nitrogen is going to two states, one in which its oxidation state is remaining same and the other place its oxidation state is changed. 
one remaining same other go undergoing a change for us this is quite different from the simple redox reaction we will call it as type B coming to other examples in this case on a similar ground if you check chlorine is 0 chlorine is minus 1 and chlorine is plus 5 so chlorine is going in two different oxidation states and they are not the same as you started with you started with 0 but you are ending with minus 1 and plus 5 at one place it is getting oxidized at other place it is getting reduced such reaction in inorganic chemistry are called as disproportionation reaction disproportionation reaction and for us we will call them as type C in type C oxidation state are two different and they are not the same as a start in type B one of the oxidation state is same and the other is undergoing a change if you check phosphorus 0 in this case minus 1 in this case plus 1 it is an example of disproportionation in one place it is getting reduced at the other place it is getting oxidized that means disproportionation for a type C if you check the next one xenon is in plus 4 xenon here is 0 xenon is plus 6 plus 4 go to 0 plus 4 goes to plus 6 same element undergoing two different change at one place it is getting reduced other place it is getting oxidized such a reaction is disproportionation for us type C coming to more examples we are trying to see if you check sulfur here is 0 sulfur here is plus 4 sulfur here is plus 6 sulfur is getting oxidized and sulfur only is getting reduced two different oxidation state becoming one such a reaction is called as comproportionation comproportionation we'll call this as type d reaction so how many types type a simple one one to one one to one type a type b one to two one to two where one oxidation state same other change type c one becoming two where oxidation states are different than what you started with type c you started with zero you're getting minus one plus one type c type d you started with two different oxidation state but they are ending up with only one that's type d so four types of different redox reactions will require different approach for balancing